the Basset Hound. His short legs have managed to walk right into our hearts. From 16th century France to modern Hollywood, he gets around quite a bit for a dog merely 14 inches tall. If you know him, you love him. So let's check out some fun facts about this droopy canine. Hi, I'm Leroy. And I'm Rosie. And this is Animal Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Let us know about your doggy in the comments below. You're not gonna, mm -hmm. let, not gonna let me fib to my diary, are you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll make it 10%. Mm -hmm. If I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. Number 10. The name Basset means low. In French, the word bass means low or short. The suffix et in French translates to rather or very, emphasizing how low this dog is to the ground. But just because he's short, doesn't mean he's delicate. Basset hounds are typically only 14 inches tall, but weigh a whopping 50 to 60 pounds. Number 9 Breeders intended the short-legged Basset Hound to be smaller and lower than typical hounds, because his short stature makes him a more effective hunting companion when pursuing a variety of small game like rabbits. This squat pooch was bred by French aristocrats and was tasked with tracking and scaring small animals out of the low brush for hunters. Number 8 All Basset Hounds have a chondroplasia, a common form of dwarfism in humans and sometimes dogs, that's characterized by genetically abnormal bone and cartilage growth. For most dog breeds, a chondroplasia is considered a defect. In the Basset Hound, the trait is essential and defining. This is the case for the Dachshund, Basset Hound, Corgi, and Bulldog breeds. Data from genome studies in short-limbed dogs reveal a strong association of this trait with a retrogene coating for fibroblast growth factor 4. Number 7 Dogs described as Bassets date back at least to the 16th century, when low hounds gained popularity as hunting companions, particularly in France. But Basset breeding was not strictly codified, and the Basset underwent many changes over time. It wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th centuries that breeders crossed Bassets with bloodhounds to increase the small dog's size. Incidentally, adding the bloodhound's typically droopy jolliness. Number 6 Speaking of the bloodhound, the Basset is second only to the bloodhound when it comes to using the old sniffer. The Basset hound has a serious sense of smell. He has over 220 million smell receptors, and the portion of his brain responsible for the sense of smell is 40 times that of a human's, who have just 5 million scent receptors. Using his complex nose, he could take in a big range of smells simultaneously and zone in on just one. Once he's targeted a scent, the dog can follow the smell for impressive distances. Number 5 It's not just his nose that helps him follow smells. Although they are adorable, a Basset Hound's floppy ears also serve a practical purpose. The Basset's ears have a lot to do with tracking. When the Basset Hound tracks his prey, his ears sweep the scent up towards the dog's nose. The loose skin at the Basset Hound's throat, aka the dewlap, also helps trap the scent to amplify the dog's already powerful olfactory ability. Number 4 As a result of being so low to the ground, the Basset picks up more dirt than other dogs, which means he needs frequent baths if you want your house to stay clean. Additionally, his eyes need frequent wiping to prevent infection. And since those large ears don't circulate air very well, they need to be cleaned at least once a week. Oh, and like most hounds, he does have a tendency to be a bit stinky, with many often describing the smell as corn chips. Shampooing is an option, but too many baths will dry out his skin. Number 2 Although he is a hunting dog, he is not a water dog. Thanks to his stubby legs and thick body, the Basset Hound has trouble swimming. Stick to outdoor activities away from large bodies of water. While the dog is generally happy to hang out on the shoreline, he shouldn't be left where he can fall in. Number 2 He ain't nothing but a hound dog. The song Hound Dog is not about an actual dog, of course. But when Elvis recorded the song in 1956, he performed a version that changed the lyrics significantly, so it didn't seem like such a stretch. When performing on the Steve Allen Show, he sang the song to a Basset Hound wearing a top hat. 
Elvis later called this the most ridiculous performance of my entire career. Number one. Latest? Yeah. This is Brock. Hello, Brock. What you meet, Fred? Brock. Hey, Fred. This is the Fred. Brock. Beat Fred. And like Elvis, the Basset Hound is rather entertaining. Basset Hounds are natural show stealers. From Flash of the Dukes of Hazard to Fred in the Smokey and the Bandit movies to Sam on That's So Raven. The Bassets have hammed it up on screens both large and small. Also, the breed inspired Droopy, the slow-talking cartoon character created by Tex Avery in 1943. All right, let's get out of here. All right, leap into the car. <laughs> just go, just go right on and leap right in there. <laughs> <laughs> Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Or that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.